Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Adam and I'm a qualified mortgage broker here in the UK. And if this is the first time we're meeting, this channel is dedicated to all things mortgage and money related. It's where I share pro tips to get your finances in tip top condition, ready for your mortgage application. In today's video, we look at 10 top tips on how to improve your credit score. Let's jump right in. So what is credit scoring? Credit scoring is when you borrow money when whether that's for a loan, mortgage, credit card, mobile phone, etc. And a lender is assessing what the risk to them is, i.e. what is the chance they will get that money back? And they answer this question by looking at your past behavior. And the reason is they believe this is a strong indicator of how you behave in the future. It's known as your credit history. Now, for example, if you have missed payments in the past, had defaults or ended up getting CCJs, i.e. county court judgments, or you have no history because you have never taken out any credit, then if your application for credit is accepted, it is likely you will be offered more expensive products to compensate for this risk. It's important to consider that each lender assesses this risk based on its own criteria of what a profitable customer looks like. So just because one lender declines you, that's not to say another one will Two. So where can you find your credit score? In the UK, there are three main credit reference agencies, Experian, Equifax, and TransUnion, all offering you a credit score based on different sets of criteria. These credit scores should really only be treated as an indicator at best, because as I've already mentioned, each lender has its own idea of what a profitable customer looks like to them. However, what you should pay your attention to is your credit file. Now, at each of these three agencies, you have what is called a credit file. This details all your credit transactions, so your mortgage, any loans, credit cards, mobile phones, etc. how well you repay these, and whether you have any CCJs and debts recorded. I would recommend checking your files at regular intervals to ensure that the information on them is correct and error-free. I review mine six monthly and before planning any major credit transactions. I've included a link in the description below to check my file where you can obtain a report from all these free agencies. Right, you have now got your credit score and you've reviewed your free credit files and it doesn't look pretty. But don't despair, follow these 10 top tips that will help you to improve it. Number one. Pay your rent on time. The rental exchange scheme allows private renters and social housing tenants to opt into this free scheme that records rental payments on your credit score. So if you pay your rent on time, it could boost your credit score. Number two, get credit and use it properly. Start off with a specialist lender credit card, which are easier to get like Aqua or Marbles, for example. Spend 50 to 100 pounds each month and repay it in full and never withdraw cash from it. If you keep doing this each month, then after about 12 months or so, you'll start to build your credit history. You just have to make sure you don't miss any payments. Number three, spread out your applications. Too many applications for credit, especially in such a short space of time, can damage your credit worthiness. Number four, make sure you're on the electoral roll. If you're not, you're just making your life harder as not being on the roll can cause ID and tracing issues. If it's junk mail you're worried about, then opt in for the open register. Number five, be accurate and consistent on credit applications. Consistency is key. Errors and inconsistencies around income and mobile phone numbers can cause you to be declined or trigger a fraud frail, another form of rejection. Number six, Evidence of stability. Having a bank account for a reasonable length of time shows stability when making applications for credit. Try to avoid switching banks right before a big credit application. Number seven, never miss or be late on repayments. Top tip, set up a direct debit for the minimum payment. That way you can always manually overpay later if needed. Number eight, don't withdraw cash on credit cards. Lenders see this as poor money management and this can harm your score. Number nine, be careful who you have joint products with. If your credit file is linked to someone else through a joint product, lenders can see their history when you're assessed. So be careful if they have a bad history. Number 10, make sure your address is accurate and up to date. Any active credit account needs to have your current address on it. I hope this video has been useful. If it has, please like, comment, share and subscribe for more content from me.